Uh, welcome to lecture 3 of module 4 in database management system. Uh, today we are going to cover uh, a new concept that is related to normalization. So before uh, uh, going to the details of normalization, uh, we must be familiarized with the different keys and the uh, attributes participating in this uh, keys. Okay. So first we are going to uh, describe about the various keys and the attributes participating in the keys. After that, we will come to the part of normalization. So, definitions of keys and attributes participating in the keys. Okay. So, first we are going to see about super key. So, what is a super key? So, most of you all are familiar with the primary key. So, primary key, uh, what is a primary key? Primary key is a key that can be used to uniquely identify a particular record in a table or a ta in a relation. Okay. So, super key is also similar to primary key, uh, but there is some difference. So, let us see what is a super key. A super key of a relation schema R is a set of attributes with the property that no two tuples can have the same value. Okay. So, super key is actually can be a attribute, a single attribute or a combination of attribute. So, uh, which must be having a property that uh, the super key, the value having the super key or the super key values must not have the same value in multiple tuples. Okay, the values must not be repeating. That is the concept of super key. The same concept as the primary key. But primary key is okay, key we have only a single attribute, but in super key there can have multiple attributes or a set of attributes. Okay, so this is called a super key. Super key of a relation schema R. R means what? R is a table, okay. R is a relation or table. This is, is a set of attributes with the property. So, super key can be a set of attributes. So, it must have a property. What is the property? No two tuples. What do you mean by tuples? Tuples means rows or uh, records in a table, okay. No two tuples <coughs> can have the same value. Clear? For example, look at this table. <coughs> this is a table. So, look at here, book ID, name, author, we are having three attributes here. So, for looking at the table, you can see that book ID is actually unique. Is it repeating? B1, B2, B3, B4, B5. So, all these book IDs are unique. So, this book ID can be a super key. Okay. So, book ID can be a super key because they are unique. No, two, uh, two, uh, no uh, tuples are getting repeated. Okay. No two tuples are getting repeated. Repetition and all. Now, what about name? Name. Can can we have name as a super key? No. Because why? 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 Because here ABC. ABC is repeating. ABC is available here and also here. Clear? So, this ABC, the name ABC is actually repeating. So, this name cannot be alone considered as a super key. Okay. Then, what about author? <coughs> can author be a super key? No, because A1, look at here, A1 is repeating here. Clear? A3 also is getting repeated here. So, this cannot be considered as a key or a super key. Okay, so book ID can be a super key. So, we have the following super key, book ID. Now, next we can, we have already told that can have, a uh, super key can have set of attributes. Okay, the super key or another, but a combination of attributes which is super key to consider a better. Let us consider book ID and name. Okay, book ID and name. Is it unique? Yeah, is it unique? Because look at here, B1 ABC. B1, book ID means this one. Okay, this uh, column. Name means this column. So look at here, B1 ABC. Is there anything similar to B1 ABC? Is this repeating? B1 ABC is repeating? No. Only B4 ABC is repeating. B1 ABC is not repeating. Okay. Similarly, B2 EFG, is it repeating? No. B3 XYZ, is it repeating? No. Okay. So, book ID and name can be considered as a super key. Clear? Similarly, book ID and author, can we consider book ID, book ID and author as a super key? Look at here, B1 A1, B2 A2, B3 A3. So, B1 A1, is it repeating B1 A1? No, it is not repeating. 
B4, only B4 A1 is there, not B1 A1. B1 A1 is only a, a single. So B1 A1 is not repeating. Repeating is Okay. Ah. Also, uh, the third one. So book ID author can be a super key. Now next one is book ID name author. Book ID name author. So these three attributes can be considered as a super key. Is it repeating? Any one of this record is repeating? No. B1, A, B, C, A1. Anga nye thangkati record ondo? Illa. B2, E, F, G, A2. Ondo? Illa. So this B, book ID name author can be a super key. Book ID or name can be a super key. Book ID author can be a super key. And book ID can be a super key. Okay. So these are the super keys. Pasha primary key in the other one. Primary key, we have only primary key. We have only can have only a single primary key. But super key, we can have combination of many attributes can be considered as a super key. Clear? Ah, so this is called a super key. Clear? This ah, is another term. Now another term related to super key. A super key, a key K is a super key with the additional property that Removal of any attribute from K will cause K not to be a super key anymore. As I said that super key contains multiple attributes. Super key can have multiple attributes. Okay. If we remove any one of the attribute or any one of such attribute from that multiple attribute super key and still that remaining attribute is no more a super key. Then that particular key K will be a super key. Okay, I will explain it with an example. Look at here. So here you can uh, we have just uh, told that book ID and name, their combination of multiple attributes is a super key. Okay, suppose we are going to remove, <coughs> suppose we are going to remove book ID. Suppose we are going to remove book ID. Okay, we are going we have removed book ID. Now, still this name, is this name a super key? No, this name is, a, is not a super key. Okay, so that means that this book ID and name, <coughs> book ID name is a super key. Okay, that is why we have book ID name and multiple attributes are super key. This is the attribute that we have to use. That is super key. This book ID and name will be a super key. <coughs> that is the meaning. Here also it is given from book ID name author. If we remove book ID, it will no more be a super key because name and author cannot be used to identify any record. Okay. But I will example. Suppose we are removing book ID. Okay. Then name and author cannot be a super key uh, anymore. Name and author is a record. So name and author is not a super key. That means that this book ID name author is a super key. Okay, that is the meaning. Clear? Now we can read the sentence once more. A super key K is a a key a K key, key key K is a super key with the property that removal of any of the attribute from K. Okay, a removal of any of the attribute from K. We have removed a book ID from here. Okay, ah, from K will cause K not to be a super key anymore. Okay, I'm going to remove the kainyal. The remaining one, remaining key will not be a super key anymore. This means that this is a super key. Clear? Okay. Ah, so this is called a, uh, this is the next step, another definition for super key. Clear? So the main definition is this one. Super key of a relation schema R is a set of attributes, the property that no two tuples can have the same value. And the tuples in the value are not Clear? So, this is how we compute the super key. Next, we can see the concept of candidate key. Okay, super key, I think uh, all, of, uh, all of you are clear with it. Now, we can see what is a candidate key. So, the first definition of a candidate key is, it is a super key whose subset is not a super key. Okay, so candidate key is actually derived from super keys. Okay, candidate key is actually derived from super keys. So in order to uh, uh, select a candidate key, we first of all we, we need to uh, find out the super key. From that super key we will select the candidate key. 
okay so let us consider this table this is a table a b c it is having three attributes a b and c okay from the data itself it is clear that this a from a this a value is unique so this a can be a super key what about b whether b can be a super key no this uh, one is repeating two is repeating okay what about uh, c can it be a, a super key no there are, there are repeating values so uh, what are the combination of uh, what are the super keys that are possible in this uh, relation so a is a super key agreed ah, next a b a b can be a super key yes 1 1 there is no record called 1 1 2 1 is there any record called 2 1 again no 3 2 no 4 2 no 5 3 no. okay ah, so a b can be a super key can a c be a super key 1 1 is in any other 1 1 here no 2 2 no no 2 2 3 1 no okay so a c can be a super key clear what about b c b c can be a super key 1 1 1 1 no 1 1 is there 1 2 no 2 1 no 2 2 no 3 1 okay so b c can also be a super key now a b c a b c can also be a super key okay so we have we have found out one two three four five five super keys so from this we will select uh, which one will be our candidate key that is our task okay so the condition for the candidate key is it, be, it says that so candidate key is a super key whose subset is not a super key okay let us consider uh, this one let us consider uh, B C. Okay, let us consider B C. So, what will be the subset of B C? Subset of B C will be B and C. Okay, the subset of B C is B and C. So, we are considering the super key B C. We will take the subset of B C. Subset of B C is B and C. Now, you check whether uh, this subset is a super key. Is the subset a super key? Whether B is a super key? super key b and undo illa so b is not a super key b is not a super key it is not super key what about c is c a super key no c is super key illa so c is also not a super key okay so in that case we can conclude that b c can be a candidate key okay that is the definition of it is a super key whose subset is not a super key the subset is b and c and that b and c is not a super key in that case we can conclude that b c is a candidate key if any one of these subset is a super key then that combination cannot be a candidate key let us check let us check Suppose I am taking, suppose I am taking uh, A, B, I am taking A, B, A, B, what is the subset of A, B, A, comma, B, is A a super key, is A a super key, yes, A super key, okay, so A is a super key, is B a super key, B super key, no? Alla, B super key alla. so B is not a not super key okay so since here in this subset one of the subset is a super key so this A B cannot be a candidate key A B cannot be a candidate key clear ah, so A B A B is not a candidate key Ah. so this is how we will compute the candidate key okay so the same process i have applied to each and every super key ab is a super key i have taken the subset of ab which is ab a comma b a is a super key but b is not a super key so ab cannot be a candidate key again i have taken ac 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 is a super key Okay, the subset of AC is A, C. So A is a super key. 
here we know that a is a super key but c is not a super key c super key alla so a c is not a candidate key what now b c that we have already computed like b c subset of b c is b comma c okay b and c is not super key alla but b super key nu paranjittilla c m super key nu paranjittilla so b and c are not super key <coughs> so b c this is wrong this is uh, b c so b c is a candidate key b c is a candidate key da maari pedana this is b c okay so b c is a candidate key clear ah next next a b c what is the subset of a b c subset of a b c is we have this much subset a is a subset b c a b a c b c okay idile a super key aanu b not super key c is not super key uh, a b is a super key a c is a super key b c is a super key okay since the subset is containing super key a b c cannot be a candidate key okay this is again wrong a so a b c is not candidate key okay a b c is not candidate key clear ah huh. now what about a what about a does a have any subset does a have any subset no a is not have any subset so such uh, such super keys can be considered as candidate key okay so our a can be considered as a what candidate key okay so from this table from this set of super keys what all the uh, candidate keys we have found out the candidate keys are a and b c ele a comma b c are the candidate keys clear so this is how we will find out the candidate key from the given set of super keys so candidate keys are actually derived from the what super key clear is it clear to all of you ah. next so we have just we have already described about this definition it is a super key candidate key is a super key whose subset is not a super key adana ipo parane explain cheyyo now second definition is there it is a minimal super key what do you mean by that minimal super key that is what i am going to explain in the next slide candidate key is a minimal super key <clears throat> what do you mean by minimal minimal means that as minimum as possible okay that is we will take a super key and we will uh, eliminate each attribute and check whether those eliminated uh, uh, remaining uh, uh, combination is a super key or not okay that is our task look at this example a b c is a b c is a super key i have we have already told that a b c is a super key suppose i am going to remove c i am going to remove c then the remaining is a b so a b is a super key okay so a b is a super key okay now i am again removing b from here okay i have removed c here now i am removing b here when i remove b the remaining is a so a is still a super key okay a is still a super key can we have can we remove any, any, anything more from a no okay so we have removed till a so we have decomposed till a and that decomposed version is a super key okay appo nangane decompose the decompose the etto minimum aagi kondu varuna sambhavam or super key anengil that can be a candidate key okay so this a can be a candidate key clear another example i will i will explain uh, i am taking abc abc now i am removing a from here a from here and the remaining is what remaining is b and c okay remaining is b comma c okay so is bc a candidate key you check b sorry bc is a super key bc super key ano nammal nayathu nokkiyallo yes bc is a super key bc is a super key okay so bc is a super key now i am again removing from bc i am going to remove b okay ah is c a candidate key c candidate key ano you just check no c is not a candidate key okay so further decomposition cannot be done here okay so ibada further decomposition perform cheyan pattilla because if you do further decomposition that decomposed attribute 
is not a super key okay in that case we will do do not do we will not perform this decomposition we will stop with this decomposition okay so our super key will be our candidate key will be bc so bc will be our candidate key okay so bc will be our candidate key clear <coughs> this is how this is the definition for the minimal super key minimum minimal super key as minimum as possible namukku reduce cheyidu reduce cheyidu etra minimathinu povan pattu aa minimum etti aa oru sambhavam aa attributes nu parayunnathu oru candidate super key aanengil that can be considered as a candidate key clear ah this is the concept of candidate key so we have covered super key and candidate key these are very important concepts okay next is prime and non prime attributes prime and next term is prime attribute and non prime attribute so what is a prime attribute an attribute of a relation schema r is called a prime attribute of r if it is a member of some candidate key of r okay for example nammada candidate key nammal nerthe kanda candidate key endana we have all said that the candidate key was a b c alle ah nammal ivada kandu ah yeah the candidate key is a b c clear so we have already derived that the candidate key is a b c okay a b c in that case a prime attribute means the attribute which is a member of a candidate key those attributes are called what a that those attributes are called what it is a uh, prime attribute okay ah അപ്പോൾ ഇവിടെ നമുക്ക് കാൻഡിഡേറ്റ് കീ എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞാൽ എയും ബി സിയു ആണ് കാൻഡിഡേറ്റ് കീ ഓക്കെ സോ എ ബി കോമ ബി കോമ സി കാൻ ബി എ പ്രൈമറി പ്രൈ പ്രൈമ ആട്രിബ്യൂട്ട് ബിക്കോസ് ദീസ് ആർ മെമ്പേഴ്സ് ഓഫ് ദ കാൻഡിഡേറ്റ് കീ ഓക്കെ സോ വെദർ ദ ആട്രിബ്യൂട്ട് ഡി ഈസ് എ കാൻ പ്രൈമ ആട്രിബ്യൂട്ട് നോ സോ ഡി ഈസ് നോട്ട് എ പാർട്ട് ഓഫ് ദിസ് വൺ കാൻഡിഡേറ്റ് കീ സോ സോ സച്ച് ആട്രിബ്യൂട്ട്സ് ആർ കോൾഡ് നോൺ പ്രൈമ ആട്രിബ്യൂട്ട്സ് ക്ലിയർ ക്ലിയർ an attribute of the relation schema r is called the prime attribute of r if it is a member of some candidate key of r okay so prime attribute can be a comma b comma c why because the candidate key is a comma b c ah. what about non prime attribute <coughs> okay so uh, there is there will be one confusion here i have here i have written only a comma b c but the prime attribute is a comma b comma c why because the candidate key is actually a and combination of bc was the candidate key okay even though bc is the combination bc is a co combined attribute this b and c is a separate attribute ee b and c is also a separate attribute and it combine cheyidana okay combine cheyidu nammal candidate key aakidana appo nammal ivide endha cheyikunna attribute aanu cheyikunna we are here we are asking the attribute prime attribute so prime attributes must be the member of candidate key so a is a prime attribute b b is a prime attribute and c is a prime attribute so here the, we are having three prime attributes that is why they have uh, written it as a comma b comma c next is non prime attribute the opposite to this one an attribute is called non prime if it is not a prime attribute that is if it is not a member of any candidate key okay candidate key da member allatha attributes ella it is a, it is non prime attribute clear is it clear next is primary key primary key we have already uh, discussed in the sql one of the candidate key is arbitrarily designed to be a primary key okay so primary key means it can be a uh, we, we are actually deri deriving this primary key from the candidate key candidate key is in candidate key in one key ayirikum primary key ait edukkunnathu okay അപ്പോൾ കാൻഡിഡേറ്റ് കീയിൽ ഏതെങ്കിലും ഒരു കീ പ്രൈമറി കീ ആയിരിക്കും ബാക്കി വരുന്ന കീസ് എല്ലാം സെക്കൻഡറി കീ ആയിരിക്കും എന്താണ് ഈ സെക്കൻഡറി കീ എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞു കഴിഞ്ഞാൽ ലുക്ക് അറ്റ് ദിസ് സ്റ്റേജ് ഹിയർ ദിസ് എ വിൽ ബി ദ പ്രൈമറി കീ ഓക്കെ എ കെൻ ആ കെൻ എലോൺ ബി എ പ്രൈമറി കീ ഓക്കെ സോ ദിസ് വിൽ ബി ദ പ്രൈമറി കീ ആൻഡ് ബി ആൻഡ് സി വിൽ ബി ദ സെക്കൻഡറി കീ ക്ലിയർ ആ പ്രൈമറി കീ അല്ലാത്ത ബാക്കി കീസിനെ എല്ലാം വി വിൽ ബി കോളിംഗ് സെക്കൻഡറി കീ ഓക്കെ സോ പ്രൈമറി കീ ആൻഡ് സെക്കൻഡറി കീ clear so we have covered super key candidate key uh, prime attribute non prime attribute then primary key then foreign key this also we have covered foreign key is nothing but it is a key that is referring to the primary key of another table so 
suppose this is a table okay serial number name d number okay and this is another table d number d name here the primary key in this table the primary key is serial number in this table the primary key is d number so this key this d number in this table will be referring to the d number of this table this means that this is the foreign key okay idu nammal foreign key this is called foreign key okay so why this is foreign key because this is referring to a primary key in another table this is referring to a primary key in another table okay ah so this is called foreign key sorry this is called foreign key okay so a foreign key is a key that is referring to the primary key of another table okay so we have covered all the keys super key candidate key uh, super key candidate key this is super key candidate key then prime attribute non prime attribute then primary key and a foreign key okay next we can see the con start with the concept of normalization so what do you mean by normalization in a in a ordinary table there can be many repeated or redundant uh, values okay if you are storing these redundant values in the table if the data gets huge if data gets if the data gets large then uh, storing this redundant attribute means more uh, stage more uh, space will be required the wastage the, uh, the wastage in the wastage of the space will be more okay so if uh, suppose if we remove those redundant attributes and we can have we can uh, save more space okay so though, so such activity is actually termed as normalization okay uh, so normalization is a process of analyzing the given relation ske- relation schemas based on their functional dependencies and primary keys to achieve the desirable properties of what first properties for minimizing the redundancy okay we have to minimize the redundancy second is we can we have to minimize the insertion deletion and update anomaly we have to minimize three anomalies that can occur in the database that are insertion deletion and update anomalies we will explain about these anomalies in detail in the next slide okay appo normalization ornna ee rendu sambhavangale eliminate cheyipikkanulla oro mechanism aanu okay appo idu endu endu basis lana cheyyunnathu is based on the functional dependencies functional dependencies we have already studied fd means functional dependencies and primary keys okay so based on this functional dependencies and primary keys we are actually normalizing this table normalizing this table based on these rules okay so how we are going to normalize those things we'll be discussing soon so today we are going to discuss the uh, introduction to normalization and what is this insertion deletion and update anomalies and what is the solution to uh, solution to tackle this insertion deletion and update anomaly okay so i will explain it with a, a table so look at this table so here the table contains roll number name department building room number okay so this uh, this table actually storing the details of the student and also uh, the department in which the student is studying and the room or the room number in which the uh, uh, student is studying okay so what do you, what are the uh, three types of anomalies that can occur in this table first one is insertion anomaly insertion anomaly says that it occurs when a certain attribute cannot be inserted on a relation without the presence of other attribute for example suppose uh, uh, this is the uh, uh, this is the uh, database of a college for college okay suppose our college this college is going to start a new department that is mechanical department okay so they have they have identified the uh, mechanical department they have identified the block that is block b3 okay and the hall is uh, lh1 okay so this much things they have uh, identified but they have they have not enrolled any students in the Uh, uh college they have just identified they have just uh, got the affiliation of the mechanical department they have identified the block and 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 also the lecture halls for the students 
they have not taken the admission for the students so this field these two fields cannot be filled now these fields will be left empty okay so thus this this cannot happen or table la namaku or or row fill cheyengil ella row fill avanam all the row must all the values in that particular row must be filled but here in this case we don't have any value to be filled so this is called the insertion anomaly okay it occurs when a certain attribute cannot be inserted certain attribute okay so this these are attribute roll number and name cannot be inserted into this relation okay in relation we cannot uh, uh, add this okay without the presence of other okay p attributes namaku eda ee pudhiya attributes cannot be added if we uh, unless and until we have all the values to be filled so students in the enrollment kuda kaiyal mathrame we can fill this table this is called insertion anomaly okay we have solution to this that we will explain next is update anomaly what is up, update anomaly what is update anomaly suppose i am uh, we have changed the block of computer science okay we have changed the uh, room number of computer science uh, students from 403 uh, 403 uh, to uh, 405 405 okay appo angane adu change varuthumbo evide ekka computer science undo wherever there are computer science uh, department computer science record there we have to change we have to make this modification appo 403 ibda vannu ibde undu ibde undu here also we have to change okay so wherever 403 is occurring we have to change it to 405 clear also the civil department uh, civil hall also i am going to change i am going to change to 70 instead of 703 i am going to change 705 clear so i have to change it here 705 here also i have to change 705 here also i have to change 705 so where wherever 703 is occurring i have to make the updations clear ah so this is called update anomaly if one 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 salut updation varthiya pola evideyka evideyka adinde reference undu avade ella we have to change okay that is a tedious task if the record is high if the record is very very large it is not possible to make updation for um, every those values okay so this is called update anomaly we cannot modify a particular data without making the same modification for all the similar data okay pe evide ekka modification vanno aa similar data velnerthella we have to make the same modification this is called update anomaly <coughs> okay ah next is uh, next is deletion deletion anomaly deletion anomaly occurs if we delete a record that may contain attribute that should not be deleted suppose uh, this uh, electronics in this electronics uh, department this akash a, a student named akash has uh, graduated okay so this uh, student details can be removed okay after a particular year for after 4 years this record can be removed because akash has already graduated If so if we remove this akash we are losing the details of uh, where this uh, ec department block and uh, also the hall number alle idu remove idu kaynal kutida page mathra ona povunnad alla we are also losing the department in which akash uh, department ec as well as the building in which uh, ec is uh, belonging as well as the hall where the electronic class is being conducted so b1503 ennu orayna ee oru record we are losing it okay so this is called deletion anomaly occurs if we delete a record that may contain attribute that should not be deleted but idu delete cheyanda kaari illa idu delete cheyanda kaari illa namaku ee student details mathram delete cheyada madhi we don't have to delete this uh, room details we don't we only need to delete the student details but unfortunately if we if, if these details since these details are uh, available in the same uh, table if we try to delete the details of the student the building details or the room details will also be deleted so this is called a deletion anomaly okay so we are going to use this normalization concepts to uh, to tackle all these anomalies okay 
So one solution, to one such solution to this uh, uh, this anomaly, handling this anomaly is, we have to decompose the table into two. That is the one solution. Okay. Solution to the above problem is to decompose the table into two. That is the only solution here. So we have uh, this big table. We are dividing it into two. Okay. The first table contains the student details, and the second table contains the building details. Okay. Look at here. The first table contains the what? The build, uh, student details. Rahul, Damesh, Sujit, uh, Nigesh, Akash, Arun. Okay. All those details. All those uh, details. And the second table contains the room details. CAC department is available in building one four zero three. Civil department is available in seven zero three. EC in available in five zero three and so on. Okay. If we if we uh, if we make the modification here, but yeah, you if we want to add a new block, if we want to add a new block, mechanical department, I can add it here. Mechanical block three. Seven zero five. Sorry, uh, LH. Uh, mm, LH one. Okay, I'm going to add a bit. This is not depending on the students uh, that is being enrolled. This is an independent table. Okay, next thing that I am going to update the number. Suppose I want to update uh, the room number of CSC. Four zero from four zero three to four zero five. But only salary to matra matiya madhi. Or we have, I have to change it only only in a single row. Only row to matra change it amadi. Similarly, civil, civil. I want to change the room number from seven zero three to seven zero five. I have to change it only in one table. Okay, one table. Clear? Ah, that one. That is the one. Now, what number? How many how many rows change it? Here we have made changes to one, two, three, three rows. Three rows we change it. Okay, here we have change, made the changes to two rows. One, two. Okay, one, two. Clear. So this is a solution to our uh, problem. Clear. Insert, delete, and update anomaly. Okay. So how we are going to do this? Perform this normalization. That that is uh, that is what we are going to discuss in the next session, next class. Okay. So before before leaving, I will just explain the different types of uh, normalization concepts that we are going to study. Okay, first one is first normal form, one and half. Second normal form, two and half. Third normal form, and boys caught normal form, B C N F. It is not represented as fourth normal form. Instead, they have uh, given boys caught normal form, B C N F. Clear? So four types of normalizations are there. Okay. So today. Uh, you just uh, go through our uh, key concept that is super key, uh, candidate key, uh, prime attribute, non-prime attribute, primary key, foreign key, and also about the uh, different anomalies that can occur in the table. Delete, update, and insert anomaly, and how the solution can be made. Okay, so today we have saw we saw all these concepts. Okay, in the next class we are going to see all these normalization concepts in 